Good morning, friends, and welcome to day number three. Last day. But hey, it's been a great cruise. Day number three finds us pulling into Castaway Key. You can see it in the background there. Got a lot of fun things. Gonna take you around the island. Probably gonna try to do a little tour. And uh, we've got some parasailing, all that kind of fun stuff. So, so come along with us for another fun field. Day three of our Disney dream. Back. Beautiful island of Castaway Key. Very pretty day today. Very pretty. All right, so first time on Castaway Key. Take a look at the ship here. Outside of our way, first time Yay! in more than two years. We did not go say, go to Castaway Key, our last sailing. In a picture of this, or a video of the ship here. So don't forget, getting off the ship, gotta have a photo ID if you're 18 years and older. Always have your key to the world card. That's your getting back on the ship and getting off the ship. Don't ever forget that. But no longer you have to have the passports, that's good. Here we are at Marge's Barges for our Paris sailing. And that's right off to get off the ship. All right, so I think we explained, uh, I explained the intro. So we're here for the Paris sailing. Well, I know I did it over there by Marge's Barges. We're here for the Paris, Paris sailing. First time I've ever, first time everybody, I don't think mama's even been on this before. Never. I've never parasailed before. I'm excited. I know Keeg's excited. Brielle, well, she's Brielle. She's excited. Uh, and I hope they'll be able to give you good aerial views in 5K. So we'll see how the GoPro works out on that. But, Or if I'm just too scared to even hit the record button. We'll see. Captain Jack is... <laughs> being Captain Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I like your ring, Maisie. Big, huh? This is very nice, but I'm so good to respect you for you. <laughs> I'm good, Jack. Captain Jack. Good morning, everyone. So, one of the things that we would uh, suggest uh, doing the, at least the parasailing, I'm not sure about the fishing and all that because you might have a little more room, but you're so close to the boat. I really would suggest just leave your stuff on the boat that you're going to take uh, on the island, probably. So that you can just go back to the, the ship and get your um, get your stuff. So no sense of bringing stuff on that you know you're not gonna really need and um, might just take up some room. So that'd be a suggestion we would give. So also should be know while we're waiting to get on the uh, parasailing. They send uh, two people up at a time. So the combined weight should be no more than 375. So just FYI, I think it's already in the description of the event anyway but thought we'd just add that in here too so they do go up two at a time
definitely do this again, huh? Uh, yeah. We get to ship it back here. I don't know how well you can hear up here because it's really windy. But oh man, how cool. Alright, so I'm sporting my NASA cap here. So we're headed back out to the island, gonna do a little bike riding, to eat a little uh, cookies too, and we're gonna take you along with us. Second go out, Castaway Key. Alright, so here we're headed back. We're gonna do some bike riding. Solo bike riding, not together, not the Surrey bike riding. So Bob has a uh, master shipbuilder company out here, Bob Chapik, Master Shipbuilders. We'll just leave it at that. So here we're coming up on, if you're lucky when they're open, the official Disney Castaway Key post office. So it will take about a few months, but it will get there when it's open. But I think it's only been open one time when we've been here. And we actually sent a postcard. And I think it actually made it. It never made it. It never made it. Day, Sorry. It never, never, made, <laughs> never made it. It's a good photo op here. Castaway Key Bahamas. All right, so we're headed up to the uh, trams, but again, as we showed in our parasailing adventure, Marge's Barges is right here. So this is where you get on all your little excursions. So before you get to the trams, this is a nice little look. We always like to eat cookies too, which is up in this area up here. But this is a nice little look-see, so we're down here where the ship is. There's a cookies one, there's a cookies two, and then there's a I call it adult cookies, but it's, it's the adult uh, eating place back here at Serenity Bay. So here's a nice little overall look. Okay, off to cookies. So if you do want to get off cookies too, you got to take the second. So the first is Scuttle's Cove, and then uh, Castaway Beach is the next stop. Then you have to get off there if you want to go to Serenity Bay. It will not take you to Serenity Bay. You have to get off. Castaway Beach, and then go. All right, first time in several years. All right, so first stop, Scuttles Cove. This is where the kids' club is. Here at Pelican Point, a lot of stores. So a little bit of stuff. So I'm not going to find this merchandise. Some of it in anywhere else. All's Castaway Key 5K. I think we're going to do that the next time around. Right, bud? I ran this island. Cool shirt here. This is just one of many shops here. On the island, so you can get and across the way we got summertime freeze beverages, juices. So we say we like cookies too, but they're both the same. 
I just think it just sometimes seems less crowded. So let's go take a look and see what they got here. Cookies 2 Barbecue. All right, so I got some good stuff here. And we'll just go put some music over this and show you some of the goodies they got at Cookies 2. And then they have your drink over here, all kinds of beverages. Normals, they got Coke products. All right, just outside of Cookies, Cookies 2 is your ice cream. I see banana. If you've never tried banana here on the Disney Cruises, try the banana ice cream. It is glorious. Strawberry ice cream, vanilla. All right, so we won't take credit for this, but something we like to do ice cream cookie sandwich here at Castaway Key at Cookies 2 Barbecue. All right, go for it. Pelican Plunge is over there. There's the boat. So this line right here separates the snorkelers. You go all the way out there, there's some definite uh, cool statues. And all of this is swimming area. Title this segment, Life is Rough, a Castaway Key on the Disney Dream. You want one of these at home? No, no video games? I didn't agree to that. No video games, we get one. All right, so we got some refreshing drinks here at the beach. I got a the drink of the day, which is a stingray. And Mama, let it go. Let it go. It's the best All right, dude, we were out, relax. Okay. Nope. Are we chilling? Are you thinking about school right now? Have to get back to the books. No. Do you want to get back to the books? No. No. You just stay right here. How about you, Breeze? You ready to get back to school? Nope. No? Chilling like a villain. Chilling like a villain. They said they wanted to go back. They're done. They want to go back. They're finished. They want to go back to school. They're 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 tired of this island. You do like school. Look at the fish right there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You see that? It's like. See fish, guys. He's right there. He's, he's white. Yeah, clear. Okay. Tip for Castaway Key. Get a chair. Sit in the water. And chill out. Is that a tip? That's a great, a great tip. Don't run around all over the place. Actually, here's a better tip. You got kids. Stick them in Scuttle's Cove. <laughs> go to Serenity Bay. Get a chair get in the water, and chill out. There we go, better tip. All right, so we're gonna go ride the bike. Try to ride the bike. $13 an hour. We barely, probably 45 minutes, on this, 30 minutes. They should give us a half hour discount because these guys, I doubt very seriously, will do it. Okay, here we go. Biking on the island. Island girl biker. All right, here we go. How we doing, fam? We're biking on Castaway Key. Now this will take you back to the 
tower, or uh, observation tower, I should say. Now, I believe this is the running path, right? Correct, Mother? So this is the running path as well. For the 5K that we're gonna do someday, right, bud? And here we are at the observation tower. Let's go take a look. Definitely would recommend doing the tower. That was fun. First time we've ever done it. Right, Mama? Really cool. Really cool. Great view. See the ship. A little bit of uh, Castaway Key, the inhabited side. A lot of the uninhabited side. But definitely take some time to do that and uh, do the bike ride. So this is a cool plane crash here. For All right, we're gonna head out to Pelican Point Overlook. But I did just wanna point out the flippers floats. This is where you get your snorkeling gear, as well as any floaties, flat floaties, round floaties. This is where you get it, right here. So it's right next to the, uh, the frozen place. And if you keep going straight, heads up bar. And right here is the Pilla Pelican Point Overlook. Now this is a pretty cool plunge, actually. This is quite fun. They don't want to do it because it's a little too cold. I agree. It's cold. All right, let's just take a look here. So you have to walk in over there. You got to walk out to the dock to climb your stairs. So you got two choices. One's enclosed, if I remember right, and the other one's not. Is that not true? Yeah. So the one you see right here off to the left, that's enclosed all the way, almost all the way, I think. Maybe a little part's open. And then the one off to the right is wide open. And it's a pretty decent plunge, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you go under. Yeah. If you're not holding on to things or you uh, miss your glasses, you got your glasses on, you're probably going to lose them. So that is Pelican Plunge. Let's take a look over here. And here's a cool look at the ship. And the beach. Beautiful. Such a beautiful day today. Usually it's sometimes you get some nasty days where it's cold, windy, but today it's got a nice wind and uh, not too cold. So if you head back towards Scuttles Cove tram stop, that's where you're going to get cookies uh, barbecue, the first one. All right, let me just point out cookies is right there. The uh, cookies one, actually just called cookies barbecue. That's the first one. That's right off the uh, Scuttles Cove tram, the very first tram stop. And you definitely find everything at She Sells and everything else. Pretty cool shirts. I like this shirt here, Bree. What do you think? Bird of Paradise. Oh, I love that. I like this shirt, Mama. We purchased some of them. Yeah. We've seen this one before with all old off. Let's see this. Ocean air, not a air. <laughs> Kinda like it. And this is the On uh, Island Kids Club, Scuttles Cove. Here's where you check them in. So it's right next to the Pelican. So it's right next to the Scuttles Cove, or we call it the Scuttles Cove Tram. I'm not sure really what it's called, but that's kind of what we call it. Thank you. 
are Walt Disney Theater for Beauty and the Beast. One of the best of the best shows here on the Disney Cruise Line. I'm excited. This is really, if you are on the dream and get a chance to watch, Beauty and the Beast is spectacular. You will not want to miss it. So, we'll tell you a little bit about what it's, uh, what we, what we uh, like about it, but you know, can't show anything. So, all right, so for our last night, Happy Easter. And we've got a couple of towel animals. So, we're sure this one's an, a, a rabbit. They used to do a chicken from the ceiling. No, they didn't. And we think that this is a pig? Elephant? No, <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's cute, whatever it is. All right, so third night, the Broadway show, Beauty and the Beast. Awesome show, great music. Keegs, what did you like? I like the part where Gaston and the Beast fought. That was very creative how they did that. I mean, it's amazing how they do these things on just a ship to show um, the you know general end scenes that you would have a lot of room to do. How about you, Breeze? I love the part where um, they were singing Be Our Guest. All the costumes were beautiful, sparkling, and it just like gave me yeah. happiness. It, I mean, it, it's amazing what they do with such little room uh, and how they make the whole thing come alive. So again, if you ever get to go on Disney Dream, gotta see Beauty and the Beast. Wonderful musical. All right, just to recap now, day three, our last day on the cruise, back to sailing. What can you say? What some fun first for us. Never anybody in this family has ever parasailed. Definitely would do that again. Well, got some great video of the uh, Castaway Key. Got to do some bike rides, head out to the uh, lookout point. Never been up there before. That was wonderful to do. And then got back on ship and did the aqueduct. Another good uh, tip here for the uh, aqueduct, be sure to do it on port of calls Now a lot of people kind of get onto that, but it used to be, uh, and it's still very low time frames, when you're at a port, that's the time to take advantage of your water stuff on the ship if you have no interest in going out on the port. And definitely the time to take advantage of the aqueduct, because a lot of people are out doing their thing, the castaway key even, but uh, definitely a, a tip there, do the aqueduct both the fantasy and the dream here. Do it when you're at a port call. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Bye. Bye. Onward to our next adventure.